If you're thinking to yourself, hmm, who is Rick Lax? Let me quickly get you up to speed. Rick Lax is a famous Facebook magician who many have criticized for his very, very, very strange tricks. All right, in the first one, he uh, cuts a balloon and then dips it into Red Bull. And look at that, the latex seals right up. Yeah, it didn't work. But what no one has talked about on YouTube yet is the even cringier side to Rick Lax. Oh boy, I can't wait to introduce you to his TikTok. Are you in for this ride? To solidify your answer, be sure to like below. And I want you to lock that number in by reaching forward and pushing the like button right now. Take a video tipping yourself. I do. I do. Alright, let's just... Oh, Jesus! Look at this man's face. Doesn't he look like he's hiding something? Like how to prepare dehydrated water, for example. Oh wait! No, he showed us how to do that. Today we're preparing dehydrated water. The first step is to put it into a bowl. Once you've got oh, it- Those look like Orbeez to me. Huh. But, but they can't be Orbeez because he said it's dehydrated water, so. Of the glass and then spread the edges out. The dehydrated water goes into that coffee filter, and then you'll take some water, pass it through the dehydrated water, and then the water will go into the glass. Take your water, add it to the dehydrated water, and now you have rehydrated your water. You can drink this. It tastes good. It's really good. There's so many layers of what? Okay, let's just pretend for a second. Like, let's follow this train of crazy. We're preparing dehydrated water. Right. But then he says at the end that we rehydrated the water. So isn't that just water? What if I just want to drink the dehydrated water? Regardless. Okay, so this is very on brand for Rick Lax. Here, let's read through some of the comments, actually. I don't think I've hated anyone more. Oh, that's really mean. What I wanted to show you today is a look at his, like, silent videos. Because, okay, here's the thing. As painful as that was to watch, I am just overjoyed to show you that it can get worse. Imagine a video kind of like that, but without the, we're gonna take the this. Like, you know, like the bullshit explanation that everyone thinks is the most infuriating part? No, because let me show you what this is like, silent. This is a video Rick Lax made called, huh? Glade, he's spraying it on a cinder block. Not saying a damn word, right? Uh-huh. I'm sure it smells real nice now. Okay, what else are you gonna do? Okay. So silent. You hear his breathing. Is he gonna break the styrofoam cinder block? I might just like the video if he breaks the styrofoam cinder block. Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, that certainly is impressive. But I must say, the watch through time can't be that good, right? No music, no commentary, just a man spraying Glade on a very obviously fake cinder block and then just popping it, right? But it almost has a hundred thousand likes. What the hell is his secret? I think the most magical thing about Rick Lax is that I can put out shit like that and they'll still get watch time. To the point where he doesn't even have to make up the bullshit commentary anymore. He can just be like, okay, are you filming? Okay. He's got a lollipop. So he's gonna do magic with a lollipop, right? He's opening it up. Uh-huh. Is this just Rick Lax playing with the kids toy? Certainly it can't be that because this has 500,000 likes. And there's no sound. Surely he's gonna do something amazing with the with the kid's toy lollipop. Like shoving up his ass, surely, right? That's what I'm waiting for. Okay, so he smushes it. Ooh, looks kind of satisfying. Pretty satisfying. He rolls it up. All right, he puts it in. He smashes it. Okay, nothing really spectacular so far. He closes it and... I... Oh, well, um, hmm. What is this? What are we looking at? I know logically he's not doing anything wrong here, but can we make this illegal? I will take the magic any day over this. Oh, thank goodness. A Rick Lax we all know and can tolerate a bit more. But the nightmares are not over yet. much to unpack here. So she turns around, sees this obvious puppet of a parrot, thinks it's a real parrot. And Rick just goes, it, it, it's for you. Like the least you can do is script it a bit, but they're, it, they just go full throttle into the improv. And for whatever reason, I almost respect them for that. Almost. Nothing super spectacular about this video. He wants her to feed the bird, the fake bird, a cracker, whatever. But I just have to point out how beautiful his house is. Like, 
this is what the man does for a living. And he's able to afford, it really, like, it boggles my mind. It's like, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Something that interests me. I like raisins. I like Sprite. <laughs> What's Rick Lax doing? And why isn't he talking? Why is it so quiet? Okay, one minute. Mm -hmm. What did she just say? Give him a butter. They just got there. Did she just say they just got there? She's talking about the raisins? What, like, the, what is the Rick Lax cinematic universe? Like, I really... Somebody script all of these TikToks and send them my way because I need to do some analysis. Do we have clear shots of them going up and down? Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll bring them forward here. Do we have clear shots of them going up and down? Nothing happened! Nothing! Oh my gosh! And he almost got me there for a second. He's like, you have a clear shot of them like floating up and then sinking back down. I'm like, oh shit, am I gonna learn about science? Obviously not. I feel stupid for watching that whole thing. Even if it is for a video, I was actually semi-engaged. And he whips out this sheet of aluminum foil, or as the Brits call it, aluminium. And I freaking thought I was going to see something, and then the minute was up. And he stole a minute of my life. You sneaky bastard. That's where the magic is. He's like, how can I waste as many people's time as possible doing the minimal amount of effort? And he does it every time. Son of a bitch. I'm so mad about that. Here's how to make wine at home. For I've seen this one. Round the cup, and then you get a pen, poke a top through the tin foil, then get canned air, turn it upside down. He had the weirdest shape. Forget about the canned air for a second. He's like, canned air upside down. Motherfucker. Then when you lift this off, it's gonna be wine colored. It's not wine yet. First you have to get rid of these grapes. These are the grapes. They go back into- How many Orbeez does Rick Lax have? And then you have got homemade wine. Cheers. Bro. Hey, hey Rick. Come here. Come here. Come this way. Ooh, so he's not in charge of this video. I want you to put your arm out. Oh, just, you just need one. You don't need one. Just, just need one. Why is he acting like an oversized baby? Like, look at his face. He's like, oh, I'm gonna put my arm out. Okay. What is this giant baby bit from him? Oh my gosh, I'm discovering all the different types of Ricks. Hold up, hold, hold on. Okay, we're gonna finish watching this. And then I'm gonna come to my groundbreaking conclusion that you won't want to miss. I'm just gonna slide it just a little bit further. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, and then I'm gonna, on three. You're doing great. Mm -hmm. Let that go. Okay. Why oh, is his face like that? Why is his face like that? In the Rick Lax cinematic universe, there are four different Ricks. We have the know-it-all magician Rick, the one who's very verbal, the one who does the commentary, the guy who has it all, the one who's holding this freaking rabbit or whatever the hell. Then we have ASMR Rick. He's the one who does the magic. It's a little bit more like, oh, I'm shy. I'm not gonna talk that much. You could mistake one for the other. Then we have improv comedy Rick, a Rick you never want to encounter. We have discovered here today the worst possible version of Rick Lax, which is adult baby Rick Lax. The one who plays with kids' toys and, you know, will make this face and be all hesitant. This man is a genius. Who knows how many other Rick Laxes are out there? Each with their own set of income, each with their own audience. My life would be so much better if I didn't just do all that research and watch that many TikToks. And thank you so much for going on this journey with me. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. And also, I would love if you shared this video with Drew Gooden. I want him to go through the same amount of pain I did just for shits and gigs. Stay safe. Wear a mask. Oh, also, I've been doing Vlogmas on my second channel. Basic. But yeah, it's been blowing up because my video that I post on YouTube with the most views is a short that I put on my second channel and I'm very salty about it. Not as salty as I am about this motherfucker though. Anyways, oh, doing the outro again, I guess. Stay safe, wear a mask, bye.